Lots of things are good the first time around, be it Awesome Wells' Citizen Kane or a sarcastic sing-along of Smash Mouth's All Star. However, repeated viewings slash sing-alongs of the above will very quickly drive home the truth that some things just aren't meant to be enjoyed over and over again. In fact, some of the greatest movies of all time are very much one-time, or at least very occasional, cinematic experiences. Some movies, however, can be busted out again and again and still hold up. Some even get better better with repeated viewings. Be it there's an engaging mystery that keeps you coming back, goofy comedy that only gets better with repetition, endless details that allow you to spot something new every time, or awesome action and explosions that can't fail to satiate that low-key human desire to see things burst into flames. Sometimes it can even be that they're just damn fine films that are so well-paced and enjoyable that they make their way into your regular rotation. With all that in mind, I'm Will for WhatCulture.com and this is the 10 most re watchable movies of the last decade. Hey, just quickly to pop in before the list actually starts, I just want to talk to you about That Film Theory. If you don't know what that is yet, it's a brand new channel that's going to be about video essays, cinematic experiences, a bit more relaxed approach. Hopefully we'll see you there. You can find the details down below. Number 10, The Lego Movie. Everything is awesome. Seriously though, everything in this movie is awesome. The Lego Movie is the exemplary family-friendly film that you can chuck on and enjoy for kids and adults alike. It's extremely easy watching goodness combined with great humor, music, and incredibly endearing performances from Chris Pratt, Morgan Freeman, Will Arnett, Elizabeth Banks, Will Ferrell, Liam Neeson, and Charlie Day. The rewatch factor is also complemented with some surprisingly cool action sequences and a heart-wrenching human element that swings out of nowhere to add a lot of depth. Old or young, there's something for everyone on every watch. The film's success has also led to other installments in the LEGO Cinematic Universe, including the LEGO Batman movie and the LEGO Ninjago movie, both of which, incidentally, also stand up very nicely to repeated viewings. Number 9. Mad Max Fury Road if a man is tired of explosions, he is tired of life. But as admittedly awesome as the explosions in Mad Max Fury Road undoubtedly are, it's disingenuous to assume that is all it has to offer. The heart of Mad Max's repeated appeal lies in the simplicity of its plot. It's basically just a drive here, drive back movie, but crammed with an impressive level of characterization, development, and intrigue. The world is so enthusiastically ostentatious that it's hard not to just phase out into a rapturous daze and wake up drenched in sweat and drool two hours after sticking the film on. The dialogue light screenplay also makes the film excellent background watching if you just want to chill. That is the true marvel of Mad Max. It manages to excel for both high energy and low energy viewings. Lazy Sunday? Check. Midweek thrill ride? Check. Number 8. Up. I defy anyone to watch the opening of this movie and not be hit with an ice bucket of feelings. It doesn't matter whether it's your first time or not, the opening to Up is a damned masterpiece. But as much as the majority of praise is directed at that virtuosic opening sequence, the rest of Up is still worth a regular visit. For a start, it just looks fantastic, remaining one of Pixar's best-looking movies to date. The jazz-tinged score is brilliant, and the simple story is set off beautifully by its lovable cast of characters, be it Kevin the bird, Doug the dog, or Carl's own grouchy old man charm, it's hard not to be wrapped up in Up's cast and heartwarming message. Number 7. The Grand Budapest Hotel Contemporary filmmaker Wes Anderson is a clear-cut example of the mad genius that can occur when one person has complete control over all aspects of their project. The Grand Budapest Hotel boasts that quirky, innovative, and idiosyncratic visual style and humor we've all come to expect from Anderson's movies. Taking place in a fictional European country and flitting between various time frames in an unusual and engaging narrative structure, the Grand Budapest Hotel is so darned rewatchable for a host of different different reasons. First off, shout out to an incredible performance by Rafe Fiennes. Then, Anderson's distinctive visual style makes just watching the screen a pleasure in itself, and the charm is set off completely by the film's Academy Award winning score. It's also a film that fits a lot of moods. Bored, cheerful, sad, hungry, whatever you're feeling, the Grand Budapest Hotel is a hotel always worth revisiting. Number 6. It 
The most common criticism of contemporary Hollywood is its over-reliance on existing properties to make movies. It's a fair point, but if these adaptations are as all-round awesome as it, I'm willing to brave the barren desert of Hollywood creativity for a few seasons yet. Taking more than a few cues from the similarly excellent Stranger Things, 2017's It is one of the most straight-up fun yet creepy horror films of the decade. The heart of the film lies in the prodigious performances by The Losers Club and Bill Skarsgård as the eponymous monster. The movie masterfully walks the tightrope between John Hughes-inspired young adult charm and genuinely intense, bombastically enthusiastic horror set pieces. It's just so much fun to watch. Creepy paintings coming to life, giant clowns almost eating kids, rotting corpses. It's like the best 80s horror cheese ever executed perfectly. A guaranteed contender for the yearly Halloween horror binge, it is easily the most fun and rewatchable horror film of recent memory. Number 5. What We Do in the Shadows When a shoestring budget mockumentary movie is so good it propels a director from relative international obscurity to performing in and directing Thor Ragnarok, you know it's something pretty damn special. The 2014 New Zealand horror comedy revolves around a trio of vampires living in Wellington and explores the more grounded, human side to life as a creature of the night. Undoubtedly one of the most beloved low-budget triumphs of the last decade, What We Do in the Shadows has already gone garnered a reputation as a cult classic and propelled Taika Waititi to MCU fame and success. Like all cult classics, a large part of the status comes from the movie's propensity for repeated, even weekly viewings among fans. Of course, the virtuosic humour and performances all contribute to this as well. As charming as it is hilarious, it's the epitome of easy, familiar, rewatchable awesomeness that can entertain again and again and again. Number 4. Her her is one of the best modern cinematic examinations of contemporary relationships. The plot sounds a little like something straight out of Black Mirror, set in the future where phone operating systems have developed to a level of independent consciousness. Joaquin Phoenix gives a fantastically real performance of a man who falls in love with his operating system, voiced in an incredible performance by Scarlett Johansson. In fact, it's these performances that really make the film worth multiple viewings. Be it your first, second or tenth dip into the futuristic world, the grounded emotion and drama never fail to deliver an affecting and powerful cinematic experience. It's a charming and honest movie worth watching over and over again, and also living proof that there will always be room in Hollywood for original stories to be told. Number 3. The Social Network in a world where the relevance of social media only continues to grow year on year, The Social Network remains an engaging and excellent, albeit dramatized, account of how the juggernaut of social media Facebook came to be. Mark Zuckerberg is perhaps the most unfairly portrayed as a total asshat throughout the film, as well as given an almost girlfriend who didn't exist. But despite some liberties with the truth, the plot is faithful to the real-life events that surrounded the murky origins of the world's third most popular website. The movie the movie is far more gripping than the premise might leave you to believe, and excellent performances by Justin Timberlake and Jesse Eisenberg ensure that the extremely grounded human drama allow the movie to stand up excellently to repeated viewings. Number 2. The Master so, The Master isn't exactly the most subtle allegorical movie of all time. It focuses on Joaquin Phoenix's character Freddy's involvement with a cult called The Cause. Once again, Phoenix is fantastic, as is Philip Seymour Hoffman as the cult leader Lancaster Dodd. But the true draw is its unflinching examination of the psychological tactics and exploitation of weaknesses that cults in the real world employ and prey upon. The obvious commentary on Scientology makes the whole thing that much more gripping as the whole time you watch, you are forced to remind yourself that stuff like this actually happens in the real world. The psychological element is as unsettling as it is engaging, and rather than diminishing, actually gets more powerful over time. The Master is a film that only truly reveals its texture and genius over multiple viewings. Number 1. The Avengers a lot of MCU movies could have made this list. The hilarious Thor Ragnarok, the light-hearted Spider-Man Homecoming, the MCU launching Iron Man, the dramatic Winter Soldier, and even the brand new and devastatingly incredible Avengers Infinity War. The original Avengers film, however, takes the cake as the most rewatchable superhero flick of the last decade. It's every major MCU hero introduced by that point in the MCU brought together for the first time on screen.
screen. You might expect that that would make it a more challenging and complicated watch. Instead, the large and excellent ensemble cast keeps things constantly moving and interesting from start to finish. It's the perfect mix of easy watching and engaging that even the arguably superior Infinity War forfeits for its more serious tone. The Avengers also doesn't demand too much going in. It efficiently and expertly introduces us to our characters one by one, nailing everything we need to know about them before getting down to the meat of the movie. Throw in a ton of quippy Whedonisms and a great villain performance by Tom Hiddleston, and you've got the full ingredients for one of the best and by far the most rewatchable films in the entire of the MCU. Why would you look at that? You got all the way to the end of the video and your mother said you'd amount to nothing. What are the chances? While you're here, why not watch one of our other many, possibly quite good channels, or watch another video which will be largely in the same vein as the quality content you've just endured. Go on then.